A storm seemed to gather in Layla's eyes as he focused intently on the bill before him. What should have been a mere $50, a trivial amount for his modest lunch, turned into something more significant. Layla wasn't just any patron, he was a struggling veteran who felt profoundly underestimated by the faculty members who had funded this meal. The exorbitant bill presented to him was more than just an oversight, it felt like outright exploitation. A surge of fury welled up inside him, yet his years of enduring hardship had tempered his reaction, allowing him to maintain control. Before we delve into this gripping narrative, we warmly invite you to support our work by engaging with our content. If this story resonates with you as deeply as it does with us, please don't hesitate to share it with your friends and family. Your support is invaluable to us. Refusing to pay the exorbitant fee, he met the waitress's return with a cool. Is there a reason for this charge? Sir, you repeatedly defied our requests and broke policy. This is the consequence. Rage warred with an unexpected calm within Layla. I wasn't expecting this. I just need some cash for my trunk. It's right outside. You can watch me if you like. Despite a dismissive eye roll, the waitress didn't object. Through the window, Layla felt her gaze burning into him. She was suspicious but unsure. Reaching his trunk, he flashed a mischievous grin as he grabbed his duffel bag. A glance back at the restaurant revealed the waitress's watchful eyes, now tinged with apprehension. He didn't want to do this, but they left him no choice. With a clearing of his throat, he entered, the waitress's annoyance replaced by a flicker of unease. Unzipping his bag, he revealed something that stopped her heart. Layla Abner felt the weight of the world on his shoulders. Even on sun-drenched mornings, the point of getting up was a mystery. Heartbreak, fresh as yesterday, gnawed at him. His life had been a tapestry woven with trauma, but one event ripped a gaping hole in his soul. In his early twenties, patriotism led him to enlist in the Vietnam War, a political quagmire he hadn't fully grasped. Returning home, he met and married Scarlett, seeking solace in her love. Life blossomed, but fate had other plans. He poured his heart into raising his twin boys, each with distinct personalities. Liam, his wife's shadow, reveled in her culinary talents, while Elijah, his adventurous spirit, dreamt of bigger things. This flashback was just the beginning of Layla's story. A story of loss, redemption, and hope, and the enduring power of family. It was a story waiting to unfold a story that would leave you breathless years melted away. And before Layla knew it, his sons were young men. Liam, ever the social butterfly, spread his wings first, pursuing a career in hospitality. Elijah, quieter and introspective, stayed another year before making a life-altering decision. The Iraq War raged on and Elijah, fueled by unwavering patriotism, announced he would enlist. Layla tried to reason with his son to share the harsh realities of war etched into his soul. But Elijah wouldn't be swayed. Left with a knowing fear, Layla and Scarlett watched helplessly as their son marched off to duty. Every day was an agonizing wait until one fateful day, a hand-delivered letter shattered their world. Elijah was gone, killed in action. Grief swallowed Scarlet whole, dragging her deeper into depression. The love that once bound them fractured, and soon their marriage crumbled. Unable to bear the sight of his wife's pain, Layla walked away, and leaving her the house and taking only two precious keepsakes, Elijah's worn baseball cap and a faded photo, both snatched from his room before setting off on a solitary path. For twenty years, Layla became a nomad, drifting from place to place, taking odd jobs for survival. He had lost much, but those two remnants of his son remained sacred, silent companions on his lonely journey. One ordinary day in New York, rumors of a new restaurant piqued his curiosity, seeking a semblance of comfort in familiar aromas and a new world. He walked in, the scent of simmering spices awakening forgotten memories of Scarlet's cooking. But his solace was short-lived. A sharp voice sliced through the air. Can I get you anything to drink? It was the waitress, her demeanor as cold as the ice clinking in her glass. As Layla lowered the menu, revealing his face, her smile vanished, replaced by a flicker of unease. He sensed he'd unwittingly triggered something, but what? Before he could ask, the waitress's voice, now laced with annoyance, declared, Sir, you can't wear a hat inside. It's policy. 
Anger simmered within Layla, but years of hardship had honed his control. It's important to me, he explained, gesturing to the cap. It belonged to my son. His words were cut short by her dismissive reply. Doesn't matter whose it was. Rules are rules. Refusing to back down, Layla met her gaze with unwavering resolve. Then I won't take it off. The waitress scoffed and stormed off, leaving Layla to wonder if he'd overstepped. But the encounter was far from over. His journey had only just begun. The waitress returned, balancing a plate piled high with food that looked like a portal to home. Each bite was a warm embrace, a forgotten melody dancing on his tongue, tears threatened to spill, but Layla swallowed them, clinging to his composure. As he reached for the bill, a tremor ran through him. One thirteen hundred dollars. His blood turned to ice. He hadn't indulged in luxuries, just a simple meal. This wasn't a bill, it was a punishment. A twisted message from unseen faculty who saw him as nothing more than a struggling veteran begging for scraps. Rage simmered beneath the surface, years of hardship keeping it contained. They underestimated him. He wasn't just any old man. This quiet facade hid battle scars both inside and out. Pushing down the memories that clawed at the edges of his mind, he focused on the injustice. This wasn't about hunger anymore, it was about principle. He wouldn't be bullied. A plan, swift and cunning, formed in his mind. The waitress wouldn't see it coming, and it would be too late when she did. His gaze swept the room, landing on her leaning against a wall, laughing with a colleague. Their oblivious merriment would soon turn to regret. He beckoned her over, her cocky grin widening as she approached. What's this fee for? She chirped, expecting an easy apology, exercising my rights, he said, his voice cold. But apparently that comes at a price in this establishment. Her smile faltered. Sir, you were informed of the policy, and I refused. He stated, his gaze unwavering. Now let me fetch some cash from my car, it's just outside. Shock flickered across her face, quickly replaced by suspicion. Layla savored it. Soon their roles would be reversed. Walking out, he felt her scrutiny through the window. Reaching his trunk, he popped it open, a mischievous glint in his eye. He reached for his duffel bag, the restaurant now a looming figure in the mirror. The waitress's smirk had vanished, replaced by a growing dread. Unzipping the bag, he revealed its contents, not money, but a familiar Polaroid photograph. The air crackled with anticipation as he turned back to the restaurant, ready to unleash his plan. The weathered Polaroid trembled in his hand, his tears blurring the image. Know who this is? He croaked, voice choked with emotion. It was Elijah, his son, frozen in a youthful grin. Fought for this country, died for it. Do you think he'd appreciate the welcome you've given me? He wasn't done. This hat, he rasped, clutching the worn baseball cap. The only piece of him left, and that's why it stays on for nobody. His rant ended, leaving the waitress gaping, getting the owner. She sputtered, scurrying off. Layla settled back, a sleek smile playing on his lips. The waitress didn't know, but this humble diner harbored its own secret. The owner, head cook, manager. Lion wore many hats, each fueled by a 20-year dream finally realized. The waitress's accusation pointed right at him. There she hissed, causing trouble. But trouble hadn't arrived. Recognition dawned on Liam's face, his voice thick with disbelief. Dad, he whispered, rushing forward. The grizzled man, Layla, had kept his son's restaurant a quiet support, never revealing his presence. They embraced, years of unspoken words dissolving in the hug. However, Layla needed to vent. That waitress charged me $1,300 for a hat. Ridiculous, he fumed. He fumed, Liam's eyes narrowed. What policy? We don't have one. It was the waitress turn to stammer, her curate crumbling. She preyed on vulnerability, concocting fake rules to exploit. Fury ignited in Liam's eyes. He ripped off her apron, his voice low and dangerous. Get out now. Shame faced the waitress shuffled away, leaving behind the shattered remains of her manipulation. Turning back to his lost father, Liam spoke words. Layla had only dreamt of hearing. Dad, I've missed you. We know about Elijah and it's time you come home. Spare room's waiting and you have to meet the family. Tears streamed down Layla's face as he clung to his son. Alone no more, he had finally found his true haven. The reunion between Layla and Liam was a balm on both their souls. As they sat reminiscing over steaming mugs of coffee, a wave of peace washed over Layla. He was home. 
not just in a physical sense, but in the hearts of his family. This chance encounter, fueled by a misunderstanding and a Polaroid, had rewritten their destinies. Years later, Layla became a beloved fixture in the restaurant. His stories of wartime and life lessons captivated customers, weaving a tapestry of experience into the restaurant's charm. Liam, inspired by his father's resilience, expanded the business, opening locations across the city. But the most significant change was within themselves. Layla found solace in forgiveness, letting go of the guilt that had burdened him for so long. Liam, finally understanding his father's pain, learned the power of compassion and empathy. Their story, however, isn't just about a father and son reunited. It's a testament to the enduring power of family, the healing embrace of forgiveness, and the unexpected turns life can take. It's a reminder that hope can flicker even in the darkest moments, waiting to be rekindled. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this story, so please share your opinions in the comments section below. Do you think Layla should have challenged the bill or handled it differently? Your insights mean a lot to me. While you're here, don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more captivating stories. Your engagement helps us continue to bring you the best content, and we truly appreciate your support. Make sure to stay tuned for our upcoming videos, there are many more fascinating stories coming your way. Thank you for being part of our community, and I'll see you in the next video.